A very good morning, good evening, good afternoon, ladies, gentlemen, boys, girls, whatever place it is you're tuned on to the live of Signatures of Radio. Thank you so very much for doing so. If this is the first time you're tuning into the show, this is a podcast that is for inspiration, for motivation, for teaching, for instruction, for making you to question your life in terms of what is my purpose, what is my productivity, and what is my resilience. Those are the three subjects that we tackle, purpose, productivity, and resilience. I do believe that uh, any successful human being, any full Fulfilled human being must have those three. You're not going to be successful and fulfilled without purpose, without being productive, and without being resilient. It goes without saying. That's why this show is all about those three. If you're looking for motivation and inspiration for those, this is it. We're in the middle of a series. We're talking about raising spirit-led children. And we started discussing the idea of self-extraction, teaching children self-extraction. This is a positive, positive and mighty subject. And I'm going to continue going deeper into it today. Stay tuned. Welcome to the Life Signatures Podcast with Lawrence Namale. Lawrence is a life coach, author, and keynote speaker who loves to tackle different topics on purpose, productivity, and resilience. His mission in life is to awaken all your boundless possibilities available in you. Life Signatures Podcast is dedicated to bring to reality every single person who knows that deep down in their gut, there's got to be more to life than this. And now, here is your host, Lawrence Namale. So, even as we're continuing to go th- through this, let us just go and do a recap. We've been talking about what can you be able to do to raise a spirit lecture. Number one, we discussed this, and we said that you've got to teach them to cherish their inner compass. Okay? Please go back three, four episodes back and just learn from what we talked about that. But we are right now talking about the second thing, which is you've got to teach them self-extraction. And we say that self-extraction, it is all about going within oneself. And, you know, it it is about discovering what the treasure in in us is. It is about about, uh, coming to the place of uh, honoring time, honoring processes, and honoring the extraction itself. So that we know what we are about. It is in seeking to know our essence. It is in seeking to know our our gifts. If you're raising your child, it is in their own seeking to find out what they're endowed with. What is their disposition? What is their essence? What are their own gifts and their own talents? What is their passion? What matters to them? These are the things that they need to extract by themselves. And we've said repeatedly, they cannot do this if they do not understand that they are treasure. They've got to understand that. Yesterday, powerfully, we said that if you will not be teaching them to self-extract, you can easily replace it with cramming. And cramming is detrimental to self-extraction because it presumes that the object of intrigue or the source of intrigue is outside of them, not inside. So they go and they start amassing things in their mind. And it's only the mind, that's the problem, it's only the mind that is involved in cramming. But extraction, the mind is there, the emotion is there, the spirit is there, the body is there. Basically it's 360 in extraction because you're extracting the the whole package and this extraction will continue for a considerable it's not an event it's a process 
So cramming is detrimental to that. The second thing that is detrimental to self-extraction is competition. And we thrive with this. How many times have you seen schools refusing to admit, and by the way, rightfully so, because what is the agenda of the school system? They rightfully so refuse to admit low-graded students. Why? Because they are competing with other, other schools. They are competing with other schools so that they can have good grades and then they can become attractive to well-to-do parents who can keep bringing their kids there to learn. Learn is in quotes. So it's competition. Now, the problem with that competition is that it's brain competition, it's academic competition, period. Nothing else above that. And the problem with that academics is that there is no element, or maybe very few, not targeted, not direct extraction that is being taught in there. It is actually doing what we discussed yesterday. One of the things we discussed yesterday was cramming. Cramming. Even the word itself, it means just... There is no order. It's just, you know, packing things into a squeezed place where there is no ventilation, cramming. What happens to you when you see someone else's child performing something extraordinarily? What do you, what, what happens to you? What goes on in your mind? Do you celebrate or do you want to force your child, huh? Do you see that? Do you see that? You need to do that. Do you want to force your child to do exactly that? The same thing. The same thing that the other child did. Wouldn't you rather focus on the self-extraction of the potential of your own child having been encouraged in seeing someone else's child doing their stuff, which is theirs. That's for them. It's not for you. It's not for your child. Unfortunately, the world we live in today is when you see someone's child doing something, you want to pay top dollar so that yours can beat them at that. Forgetting what is inside the endowment, the gifts, the psyche of your own child. Forgetting basically matters related to spirit. Because when it comes to spirit, I've said this previously, there is basically no competition. Why is there no competition in spirit? Because everybody has been assigned something to do. And all we've got to do is to be true to ourselves, true to our assignment, true to our calling. That's all we've got to do. For as long as we are having competitions going on, we are not in the spirit. We are outside of the realm of the spirit. We have entered into the lower realm of the material. And now we are competing. Let's go to the child and see. How are you raising this child of yours? Is your child competing primarily to be better than the other children? Or is he competing to be the best version of himself? each and working day or herself there is that natural tendency in all of us to compete i know it's a it's it's one of those side effects of the fallen nature of mankind we are all given to competition have you ever seen or oh, you're on the road and there is an adult driving in front of you and they're going re- re- relatively slow and all of a sudden you want to make a turn and overtake them and they increase their speed and they race you they actually race this is an adult 40 years of age they are racing it's, there's just that inherent <laughs> in, inherent spirit of competition that is inside of us we compete, we compare, we contrast with, with each other and that's the ego it is not the spirit remember Those two are always in a constant fight. The ego and the spirit, the material and the spirit, they're always in a constant fight. So if you, one of the modes of raising your your people is so that they can compete or, or, or through competition, what are you doing? 
you have left matters related to the spirit you have left matters related to self extraction you've gone to competition and the ego competition certainly has its place it does have its place but if it's not strengthening the self extraction of the potential of a child we are not leading we are not raising we are not discipling we are not mentoring we are not coaching we are not raising a spirit led child let us not put competition ahead of self extraction let us and i'm going to talk about comparisons in fact if you start comparing yourself with somebody else what is the source of the comparison is it what is good on their side or what is good on your side if you have something that is good on your side what's the point of comparing yourself with somebody else the call is for you to lean into it and be the best that you can be now that you already know what is good with you in other words your competition is the man in the mirror is this your best today is this better than it was last year are you living better than you were last year is this child better than he was in himself last year whatever gifts whatever talents whatever disposition that you've discovered and they've discovered in themselves how far have they extracted it that they are much better than they were when they started we cannot continue to think that competing is the best thing that we can give our children as we're raising them up the reference point should not be others the reference point should be themselves therefore calling for self extraction tomorrow we're going to continue with this but until then bye bye Thank you for listening to Life Signatures Radio. If you enjoyed today's show, subscribe to Life Signatures Radio on iTunes, Stitcher, or visit our website at lifesignatures.libsyn.com. Life Signatures Radio, fresh clean and inspiring.